Hi, this is Mohammed Shakil here and today I'm going to show you the generation of individual drawing views in the draft and workbench in KTRA 5. So in the previous section you have learned how to generate various drawing views automatically. In this section you will learn how to generate the drawing views individually. For example, say first you will generate the drawing front view, then next you will generate the other projected views with respect to the front view. You can also generate the section views, detail views, broken views and so on. So I'm going to open up drafting workbench first. So I'll set some standards. So I click OK. And we have uh, the drafting workbench being open now. So the tools to generate the drawing views are grouped in the projection drop down. So if you go here, insert views projection so you can see everything is being frozen here so the rule is you need to open up a part drawing so any of the part drawing and once you're done with that you can uh, switch to the drafting workbench window and if you go here once again you can see the uh, views are being active so <coughs> So let me just show you to create the front view that is the first option in the projection drop-down. So the front view is the main view for generating any other views in the drafting workbench of KTRA 5. To generate the front view, first you need to make sure that the model from which views needs to be generated is open in the other window. So we have that on the other window here. <coughs> It is recommended that before uh, generating any view, uh, you are going to keep both of the views on tile mode. So I'm going to keep them on the tile mode here. So we have your both of your windows which are going to work in the tile mode. You can tile it vertically or horizontally. So when you click on this particular window, these tools will be active and when you click on this, these tools will be active. So you're going to create a front view for this. So I'll go to views projection front view. And then I'm going to hover my mouse to this particular window here. And I'm going to simply move my cursor and you can see the oriented preview right over here appearing. So you're going, you're going to create the front view like this and once you click on this you have this blue knob being appearing on your draft and workbench here and this blue knob can be used to switch the views like this in 180 degrees and you can uh, either rotate it and you can place it however you want according to your requirement and you have another green knob here with which you can rotate your object and you can place it the way you want so I'm going to place it in 90 degrees uh, in this uh, particular so in this particular case and once I'm done with that I'm going to click somewhere outside and that view is being generated you can see that uh, this particular view is being covered by your orange dotted lines and your front view is being covered with the blue dotted lines so that's how you can create the front view of this and uh, with, front, with respect to this front view you're going to generate uh, all other views so uh, there is uh, another option called as the advanced front view and a few other options which I'll be discussing on the further uh, videos. So I hope you uh, followed how you can create the uh, views separately and this tutorial covered uh, of generating the individual front views, front, uh, individual drawing views in the drafting workbench in KTRA 5. And one more tip that I wanted to say is uh, you can uh, go to the properties and uh, you can keep your scale according to the requirement. So this is universal scaling. So if you give it as 2 is to 1, you can see that uh, the object in this image is being scaled.
So I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you so much for watching.